Welcome to the module on Wellhead Design and Selection. Today we will learn about Wellhead Construction, Classification of Wellheads, Basic Components of Wellheads and Their Functions, Functions of Subsurface Safety Valves, Setting Depths of Safety Valves, Downhole Safety Valves and Types, Wellhead Operation Routine Check, and New Well Commissioning. When a well is drilled on land, an interface is required between the individual casing strings and the blowout preventer, or BOP, stack. This interface is required for four main reasons. To contain pressure through the interface with the BOP stack. To allow casing strings to be suspended so that no weight is transferred to the drilling rig. To allow seals to be made on the outside of each casing string to seal off the individual annulus and to provide annulus access to each intermediate casing string and the production casing string. When drilling a well on land, a spool wellhead system is traditionally used. This wellhead is considered a build-as-you-go wellhead system that is assembled as the drilling process proceeds. The spool system consists of the following main components. Starting casing head. Intermediate casing spools. Slip casing hanger and seal. Tubing spool, if well is to be tested and or completed, and. Studs, nuts, rain gaskets, and associated accessories required to assemble the wellhead. Wellhead construction. Wellhead construction is based on a repeated set of processes. Drill a hole, run and cement steel casing. Install a wellhead section and nipple up BOPs. Drill a hole, run and cement casing and run another wellhead section. Process is repeated several times until the desired hole depth is reached. Classification of wellheads. Wells are classified into different categories as follows. Flowing wells. Sweet and sour. Artificial lift wells. Sucker rod pump, ESP. PCP, gas lift, plunger lift, hydraulic pump, velocity string, enhanced oil recovery, injection and hydraulic fracking, disposal wells, steam assisted, gravity drainage, other types, cavern and observation wells, basic components of the wellhead, casing head, casing hanger, casing spool, annulus seals, tubing head spool, tubing hanger, and tubing adapter, casing head, housing. The lowest part of the wellhead that is almost always connected to the surface casing string and provides a means of suspending and packing off the next casing string. The starting casing head attaches to the surface casing by either welding or threading onto the surface casing. The top of the starting casing head has a flange to mate with the bottom of the BOP. The flange must meet both size and pressure requirements. The starting casing head has a profile located in the ID that will accept a slip and seal assembly to land and support next string. The slip and seal assembly transfers all of the casing weight to the surface casing while energizing a weight set elastomeric seal. Casing head, housing, features. Versatile straight bore design, uses a 45 degree landing shoulder, accepts a wide variety of slip and mandrel casing hangers, has an additional lock screw for bolt protection, allows use of lock screws to retain hanger, three different types of outlets, line pipe, flanged and extended flanged outlets, multiple bottom connections such as slip on weld, Slip on weld with O ring, threaded and shore lock. Size of lowermost casing ranges from 7 by 6 inches to nominal 21 inches to support casing in sizes from 4 half inch to 16 inch. Let us see a visual illustration of casing head with threaded, welded and slip bottom. Casing hangers. Casing hangers are devices that allows casing to be set in the wellbore during the drilling phase of an oil or gas well. There are two basic design of casing hanger, slip type or mandrel. The slip type is conventional and most commonly used. The mandrel type is normally used when special needs arise during building of a well. Following are their functions. Suspends the casing load, centers casing, provides a primary seal in the casing annulus, allows for testing of connections. Let us see a typical illustration of casing hanger components. Casing head spools. Casing spool is the component that allows for an additional string of casing to be set in the well. Depending on the casing program for the well, there can be on or more casing spools and they perform following functions. Allows for suspending the next casing string in the well. Provide outlets for fluid returns. Provide a means to test the BOP while drilling. Has flanges on both the top and bottom of assembly. Has a seal area in the bottom flange for a secondary seal between the casing annulus and the flanged connection. And Utilize a test port in the bottom flange that allows for seal and flanged connection to be pressure tested. Let us see a visual illustration of casing head spools. Tubing head spool. Tubing head is the top spool on a surface well head. It is typically installed over the last string of pipe suspended in the well. 
The production casing. Its features are as follows. Allows for suspending the production tubing in the wellbore. Provides seal bore for the tubing hanger. Incorporates lockdown screws to retain the tubing hanger and energize its seals in the seal bore. Supports the bops while drilling. Provides outlet for fluid returns. Has a seal area in the bottom flange for a secondary seal between the casing annulus and the flanged connection. Provides outlets for fluid returns. A visual representation of tubing head spool. Tubing hanger. Tubing hanger fulfills several tasks in the completion string as. It transfers the weight of the completion string to the well head. It seals the top of production annulus. It allows internal plug to be installed by means of either a nipple profile or screw connection. Plugs are utilized in the installation and retrieval of Christmas tree. It provides a seal around hydraulic and electrical control line which have been drawn through the tubing hanger. It is screwed to the top joint of the tubing. The tubing hanger lands in a special profile inside the tubing head spool. You can see a graphical representation of tubing hanger on your screen. Christmas tree. A Christmas tree or a Christmas tree is an assembly of valves, spools, and fittings used for an oil well, gas well, water injection well, water disposal well, gas injection well. Most Christmas trees are comprised of at least two master valves, at least two wing or flow valves, one of which may be hydraulically operated, and a swab valve utilized in the intervention operations. And Christmas tree is placed on the top of the wellhead. The purpose of Christmas tree is to control the flow of hydrocarbons from the well and to allow access to the well during the operational phase. It allows fluid to flow from the well from downhole to surface in safe manner. It allows safe access to well bore in order to perform well intervention jobs. It provides access to hydraulic control line of the surface controlled subsurface safety valve SCSSSV. It provides electrical interface for instrumentation and electrical equipment for electrical submersible pump ESP. Let us understand various parts of a Christmas tree. Functions of subsurface safety valves. Downhole safety valves, DHSV, are used to close the well in an emergency. Potential situations include, serious damage to the well head, failure of safety equipment, fire at the surface. DHS versus are installed in the well in order to prevent blowouts if, the top side of Christmas tree becomes damaged, surface equipment is sabotaged, a neighboring well suffers a blowout drilling collisions from neighboring wells. Such valves are of failsafe close type. If hydraulic pressure to the valve is lost, it will immediately close, setting depths of safety valves. In offshore wells, at least one safety valve is placed in every well at a depth from 200 feet to 2000 feet below the seabed. Depth of safety valve depends upon well environment, onshore or offshore. Below depth from damage to the safety valve can occur from the surface related hazards such as impacts, explosions, fires etc. Production characteristics, wax or hydrate deposition depth. Characteristics of the safety valve, maximum and minimum setting depth, downhole safety valves. Subsurface controlled subsurface safety valves, SCSSSV, it is installed in standard profile seating nipples in the tubing string below the surface tubing hanger. A subsurface safety valve requires a change in the operating conditions at the valve to activate the closure mechanism. It contains an internal orifice that is specifically sized to the flow characteristics of the well. The valve is normally open and closed by an increase in flow rate across the orifice. This creates a pressure drop across the valve that causes it to close. It reopens when the pressure is equalized across the valve. Types of downhole safety valves. Tubing retrievable SCSSV. Closure mechanism is either ball or flapper type. Valve assembly consists of a spring-loaded flow tube and piston. Held open by hydraulic pressure applied to valve via control line. In case of malfunctioning, valve can be removed by pulling tubing. Have large bores as compared to wireline retrievable SCSS versus wireline retrievable SCSSV. Surface-controlled wireline retrievable DHSV run in the open position with a prong on the wireline running tool. Closure mechanism is either ball or flapper type. Held open by hydraulic pressure applied to the valve via control line. Wellhead operation routine check. Check that the well is flowing. If it is not, report for instructions. Check the condition of the wellhead and the surrounding area. Look for leaks damage, access, and on-site work by other departments. Check that the safety valves are in the automatic mode, switches should be in the auto position, isolating valves should be open etc. Check the position of the choke setting. Compare the setting against the record. If there is any deviation then request instructions from the supervisor before adjusting. Take a fluid sample if so instructed. Using the test gauge, 
Take reading of wellhead and flowing pressures FLP. Compare these against the record for a check of the performance of the choke. Variations will give an indication of the choke wear or blockage or of a change of downhole conditions. If these variations mean that further work is necessary, report for instructions. This is very important with regard to the well production rate as overproduction or underproduction can lead to serious downhole problems. Using the test gauge, take readings of the pressure in the annulus and, if so interacted, bleed away the pressure because this could be due to a leak through the string wall or through the downhole packing pieces. Fill wellhead log sheet and record the operating parameters. New well commissioning. 1. Ensure that the well is handed over to operation and the well is ready to flow. 2. Ensure that the wing valve is closed. 3. Inspect the flow line fitting, flange, valves are in right position. 4. Ensure that the safety panel is in service. 5. Confirm that all wellhead and flow line protection are in line. 6. Confirm SCSSV and SSV are open. 7. Record well shut in pressure. 8. Adjust the bean size of choke as required. 9. Slowly start to open wing valve. 10. Check for any leakage around the area. 11. Record established wellhead parameters. Thank you for learning with us.